Shut that off, please. Thank you. Woo! I'm trying to do a set. Can I just... Okay. Uh, is it weird that I like Special K, but I'm not like a pregnant woman? <laughs> it's just... I don't know. I don't really know. Um, well, hello, my name is Zev. Um, yeah, that's my real name, okay? Um, and, uh, yeah, this is actually my first time doing stand-up. Um, yeah, and you know, like I was really nervous before the show, and uh, I really didn't want to do it. But then I remembered a wise man once said, "Sometimes in life, you just have to grab it by the pussy." <laughs> <laughs> and you know, like that. Okay, like that's really become like the motto of the election this year. It's just Donald Trump, 2016, grab it by the pussy. <laughs> okay, and. You know, I don't know what surprised me more, the fact that he said it or the fact that his excuse was, it was a locker room talk, okay? Believe me, she's a nasty woman. I, I have tremendous respect for women, believe me, believe me. Nasty woman, crooked Hillary. Donald Trump making me a record again. Um, and, like, I don't really know, like, I was kind of taken aback by it, by, but everybody was kind of just like, okay, yeah, the locker room talk, that makes sense. Um, I don't know if he's, like, been in a locker room before, but like nobody fucking says that. Like nobody. Um, like I mean, I've been to the I've been in a locker room a few times myself. You know? Check that out. One one glute. Yeah. Um, and really, like the only kind of locker room talk that goes on is okay. I'm gonna give you a similar scenario. Oh hey, that's uh, that's my locker. <laughs> No, like I, I got it from the desk. And at least have like the like the numbers on my desk. Yeah. No, that's like your stuff is there. Like, can, can you move this? Okay. No, like oh, okay, you're naked. Uh, all right. That. You know, you gotta get that checked out, dude. Like, it's a, an irregular growth. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. I'm just gonna go over there. All right. Bye, Grandpa. Speaking of elderly genitalia, um, yeah, what a weird segue. Segways are weird. Um, I had the privilege of having a senior citizen for a sex ed teacher in middle school. And not only was he a senior citizen, he was a foreigner. It's basically the same thing as having like a six-year-old teacher sex ed. Okay, so you jump up on each other and you know, just pee on your leg. And that's pretty much what happens. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's not how sex works, you guys. Come on, get real. Okay, so, I mean, it's like our first day of class. We're in grade six, and pretty much this, this Israeli dude just kind of just walks in. He's like, okay, everybody, shut up. Okay, who here knows about the sex? Okay, raise your hand if you've done the sex. How old are you guys, 12, 13? Come on, what? Okay, so for those who don't know, okay, here's what here's what happens. Okay, basically, you have the penis. You have the penis, okay? And basically, you need to get it nice and uh, nice and uh, hard. And then basically, you kind of just you know punch it into the vagina, vagina, vagina. You just punch it, 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 punch it. And then there is a pizza, pizza explosion. There is explosion. And I'm just like, oh my god, there's an explosion in sex. Like, and I, I've been scared to have sex ever since. Yeah, and you know, like middle school is like a really weird time. I'm sure like nobody had a good experience in middle school. I didn't shut the fuck up. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm Jewish if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Jews in the house, what up? Okay, cool. So this joke is gonna go great. Okay, cool. So, uh, can I just get like a round of applause for those who have like been to a bat mitzvah? Okay, 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 cool. Alright. All right, okay. So, so you know, like every bat mitzvah is like kind of the same. And for those who don't know what a bat mitzvah is, picture like a sweet 16, um, but like four years younger, way brattier, a little more money involved, and there's just kind of like a lot of like dancing like this. 
slide to the right. And that's pretty much the entire thing. So, you know, we're all just like trying to figure out our sexuality, you know? Like, I'm like, yeah, you know, and all these girls are like, oh man, look at their boobs. <laughs> they're like so, like, they're gonna be so big in the air. Like, wow. So, there reaches a point in a bat mitzvah when the two best friends of the girl come up and do a speech. So I'm going to reenact the oh speech God. because pretty much uh, it's very formulaic. Uh, so here it goes. Hi, I'm Nicole and I'm Hannah. And we're two of Rachel's bestest friends. We met in kindergarten, and we've been best friends ever since. <laughs> Rachel, remember the time? <laughs> remember the time when we went to the mall and it was like that sketch guy? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Rachel, remember the time? When we used to play dress up and you always wanted to be the dad. <laughs> that was so funny. Now, Rachel, we have our fights. But we love you. Mazel tov, you look stunning. And no, and but like, there's, there are only inside jokes that like three people in the whole fucking room understand. And I'm just like, yo, I want my fucking chicken fingers, I want my fucking Caesar salad, I want another round of Shirley Temples, and everyone's with me. And then there's just like Donald Trump in the back, like, hey, you see that Hannah chick? I'm totally gonna date her in six years. Thanks guys very much. Enjoy the rest of the night.